This is the Anker 521 Portable Power Station. This is a long-lasting and reliable charging station that you can take with you on the go. This video is sponsored by Anchor, and my thanks to them for sponsoring it. I'm going to put links to everything I talk about in this video in the description below so you can check it out. This is a portable power station with a massive built-in battery. It has a 256 watt-hour battery in it that can charge your iPhone, iPad, and MacBook multiple times. This is the kind of device you want to have in case of an emergency, like if you lose power during a blackout, or you need to use an air pump to pump up a tire, you just need power in a place that doesn't have it. It weighs just under 10 pounds, and actually it's a lot smaller than what I thought it would be. When the box showed up, I was like, this can't be what I was expecting it to be because it was way too small. It's actually not that big. Uh, it actually fits in my everyday 30 liter backpack. Like I can slide this in there and take it with me if I wanted to. I mean, it's it, 10 pounds could be really heavy. That's a lot of weight to add to a backpack. But if I absolutely really needed to have this in my backpack, I could fit it in there. But the Anker 521 portable power station right here, this uses the same high-end batteries electric cars use. You can charge any device that's under 200 watts with this, which is gonna be most things that you have with you. For example, like the 16-inch MacBook Pro, the biggest, portable computer Apple makes, that's only 99 watts. It has a total output of 398 watts. That means if you're plugging in multiple devices, all of that can add up to 398 watts. That's a lot of power. And it has an array of ports you can use to charge devices. On the front, there is three USB ports, two USB-A and one USB-C. If there was just one thing I could change about this product, and I absolutely love it, do not get me wrong, I absolutely love it, but if there was one thing I could change, it'd be more USB-C ports. I, like most people, have spent the last few years transitioning over to USB-C. In fact, I don't think I have anything that charges via USB-A anymore. I've either ordered replacement cables so I can use USB-C, or I've upgraded the device so it just uses USB-C. I don't have USB-A anywhere in my house anymore. So those two ports don't really do anything for me. I would have preferred USB-C, uh, but you know, if you have USB-A or if you have those cables already and you wanna like stick this in your car, you can just put those USB-A cables with it. So that way you don't have to order extra cables. There's also two AC plugs, so you can plug in standard devices in it. You can use these to plug in things like air pumps or fans or just any normal electrical device. Under the AC outlets, there is a power saving switch. So when you turn this on, it automatically stops charging whatever devices are plugged into it when they've completely been charged up. When they reach 100%, it stops charging them when that power savings on. This way it's not using extra juice from the device and it's making the battery in this device last as long as possible and go as long as possible before you need to recharge it. But if you have something that needs to stay powered on all the time, like a fan or like a CPAP machine or something like that, you can turn that off and it'll just keep the power flowing to it all day long. Or if you have like a laptop plugged into it and you don't wanna worry about it being unplugged or like it to start dying after a while, you can just leave that off and it'll stay topped up. There's also a car socket. So again, if you have something like an air pump, and that's something I, I've kind of mentioned a lot because I really see this as like a portable device you'd want to leave in like your car or take with you on road trips or something like that, that this can be a jack of all trades, uh, a power station, power hub uh, for when you aren't in a hotel room or when you aren't near an outlet or something like that. So if you have a flat tire, you can use the car socket to plug in your air pump and fill up the flat tire. When you have devices plugged in and it's charging, you'll see how many watts it's outputting. It'll also show the remaining hours of battery life remaining at the current charge rate. When I plugged in my iPad Pro, it charged it at the fast charge rate and there was still plenty of hours left over. Another cool feature on the front is a lamp. This is just a nice touch. If you're camping, you've lost power, and you just need a little bit of extra light to see what's going on, you can hit the button and you have light. But what about charging the power station itself? Well, of course there is a normal charger that you can plug into the back of this thing and it'll charge it right up. Uh, and it works really well. You could charge it from zero to 100% in just over four hours. 
but if you use that cable and plug it in the wall to charge it, plus a USB-C cable and a 60 watt power brick, this is the fastest way you can charge it. You're charging it from two different sources. It can charge up and it charges in about two and a half hours. That's awesome. That's so cool. So if you're like, okay, we're, we're going to go on a road trip today. Let's pack up. And you're like, oh man, I forgot to charge this thing last night. You can plug both those things in, charge it up in just over two hours from zero to a hundred percent. That's pretty cool. I, I really like that a lot. So all of that stuff is really impressive tech specs, but what would you actually want to use it for? Well, a couple of things just come to mind off the top of my head, and I already alluded to a few things, but where I live, it is pretty much a guarantee you are going to lose power three times during the summer between heat waves and forest fires, California and keeping its power on is struggling a lot during the summer. Uh, in fact, my brother and sister-in-law, they lost power for almost 24 hours this last summer, which is not good, especially when it's 105 degrees outside. Uh, so you could use these things right here, uh, plug in fans, keep yourself cool a little bit. Uh, I also thought, Hey, you know what I could do is I could plug my router into this thing so I could still get work done while power outages are happening. Because when you live by yourself and the power's out, it's kind of boring. There's not a lot to do. Uh, so I can plug my router into this thing, still use my iPad and get work done. That would be really, really nice. I know a lot of people that have like gas powered generators and stuff like that for when they lose power or when they go camping and stuff like that. But the problem with gas powered generators is they aren't exactly something you would want to use indoors. <laughs> don't, don't use a gas powered generator indoors. Um, but even if you're using it outside, they're loud and they take gas and gas is really expensive. Um, I don't really need to power a lot of things if I'm going camping or if I lose power or something like that, just the essentials. And that's what this would cover right there. This would cover that easily. So like I was saying, the Anchor 521 portable power station, it's a jack of all trades device. It's definitely something you would wanna have in case of emergency or you know, just you're in a really unique situation. It's not something I would see myself using every single day. It's not something that I could be like, oh, hey, let's, work on what's on my desk or, you know, what's in my bag 2022 or something like that. Those videos and me thinking, oh yeah, this is the thing I want in there. No, this really feels like a, hey, break glass in case of emergency. But you know what? If I need to break that glass in case of emergency, I'm really glad it's here and I'm really glad I have it. Um, like I said, it's it's not as big as I thought it was. It's, it's definitely heavy. It's about 10 pounds, um, but it's, something really nice that I'd want to use. So like I mentioned, links to everything in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and my thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.